Alex, you're chasing a story in Trenton. It actually started last week when a 14 year old was shot while fleeing from police. He's in the hospital recovering and now the politicians have gotten involved. Local member of Congress Bonnie Watson Coleman wants a federal investigation. What do you got? Well, the attorney general's office is investigating that shooting where two troopers and one sheriff's officer chased and then fired on a young man, 14 year old Radaz Hearns. This is Radaz's mother, Salima and she was in a meeting at Shiloh Baptist Church last night. Those are her tears <coughs> for a son that she thought she might have never seen again after he was shot seven times in the leg and buttocks after fleeing from the cops on Calhoun Street last Friday night. And this next to her is the lawyer, Samuel Anyan, who says there was no way he had a, he had a, a, a gun on his person. There's no way that he could be running from police with a gun place the gun somewhere where they can't find for 12 hours uh, and, and, and the police officers not know where it's at if they, if they, they truly saw him with a weapon. The gun, the 22 caliber handgun that was recovered by police hours later, was allegedly all the way over there at the corner of Calhoun and Pashley, a good, I don't know, 50 yards? the Attorney General's Office version of events. State troopers have been helping out in Trenton ever since 2013 was the most deadly year for homicides on record. These two troopers and one sheriff's officer were riding together in an unmarked minivan right after a shooting was reported in a housing project nearby. They pulled up on three teens. One of them was Radaz walking on Louise Lane. Two of the people with Radaz stayed put. Radaz took off. So Radaz made a move toward his waistband as he was fleeing from the officers, and that's when they discharged their weapons. And it's interesting to point out, no charges were filed against the teens who were with Radaz, and no charges have been filed against Radaz himself. Now, as you pointed out, uh, the local representative of Congress, Bonnie Watson Coleman, attended that meeting. Also, the mayor of Trenton, Eric Jackson. I yelled and screamed at my police director for information. He could not get it. We went to the prosecutor's office, could not get it. The entire Mercer County Democratic political establishment came out. They're trying to put pressure on the U.S. Attorney's Office to investigate, but U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman says he doesn't think he can. But for now, they're trying to get Attorney General John Hoffman to be more transparent. The officials stopped short of calling the shooting justified or unjustified. They claim they just want more information. Okay, what's next? We're going to try and find out more information. We're going to try and nail all this stuff down. The Attorney General's shooting response team, they're going to do a full investigation, which could take a while, and they're going to report back.